Hey there. If you are like me, you are the kind of person who prides herself on being level-headed and who doesn't lose it easily. You know, you're not easily flustered. You're not easily angered. You're pretty balanced. And it takes a lot to get under your skin it takes a lot to get you to lose control and actually become angry or actually express that anger because i'll tell you about how i used to be i would get so angry on the inside but you wouldn't see it on my face you wouldn't see it by the tone of my voice and um my son he is eight he is very outspoken very expressive very emotional and sometimes he gets so angry so frustrated and he says well I did this because I was angry And I'll tell him sometimes, well, I'm angry too. And he's like, no, you're not. He's like, you're not yelling. You're not screaming. You're not angry. But at his age, um, I suppose he feels that everything he thinks and everything he feels should be expressed. And in adulthood, we learn how to suppress that, right? Right. Even in childhood, as we grow up, we are somehow taught that being angry is bad, that being angry is wrong, that we should suppress our anger because there's something um, unbecoming, something unholy even about anger. So today, on October 15th, 2024, the word is outrage. Outrage. I'm going to pull up the dictionary definition for outrage. And I'm going to see if I can read it with with my glasses off. Can I? No, I can't. (sighs) Okay, outrage is an extremely strong reaction of anger, shock, or indignation. And the example says her voice trembled with outrage. That is such a good example. That is such a good example. What makes your voice tremble? What makes you get so upset that your voice trembles? <sighs> not with fear, not out of nervousness, but because you are so angry that your voice shakes. And I'm not promoting anger. <laughs> I'm asking you, this is an invitation for you to feel. This is an invitation for you to allow yourself to feel because here's where we can get stuck in life. You may find situations that um, stir up this anger inside of you and it may be because you think you're being treated unfairly or you think someone you care about is being treated unfairly it could be a situational thing um your circumstance your environment a job a relationship something is making you angry but because you have a preconceived notion about anger Because you have a preconceived notion that anger is bad, that anger is evil, that anger is wrong, 
you suppress that anger. And the outrage that is actually an indication to you, the outrage that is a blinking warning light in your life, you suppress in exchange for pleasantry and keeping the peace. I'm not condoning that you scream and <laughs> flip tables or get into fights, but pay attention to what makes you lose it. Pay attention to what makes you angry. Not to give it power, but to identify it and bring it under control. And when I say it, I don't mean the anger. I mean the source of it. Because the source of your anger, the source of your outrage is never a person. Anger is an emotion. It's a response, but a response to what? So let the outrage be an invitation. Whatever anger you feel, whatever outrage you feel, let that be an invitation because it's an indication that there's something wrong. So therefore it must be an invitation to find out what that is and how to fix it. We're all gonna get angry at one point or another, but this anger should never consume us. This anger should never control us. And this anger should never subdue us to a point where we now are behaving in ways that we are ashamed of once the anger has subsided. So I want you to think about that today. I'm inviting you to think about that today. What causes outrage in you? Is this something that you have to sit and think about? What makes me angry? Or is it something that you immediately know? Yeah, that's it. Because it's happened too many times. This is a different one today. That's it with that. Don't forget to journal what comes to you. As you sit and you think about it, don't forget to journal what comes to you. Write it down. Anytime you get a revelation, write it down. Because it's not just for the moment. You'd be surprised how in six months you come back and you needed what you wrote down two weeks ago, a year ago, three years ago. Write it down. I hope this helps. Blessings on your journey. I'll talk to you soon.